What's up guys, Keegan Dells here, KWI on the couch with Bryson from Texas, who is a recent graduate of KWI. So tell us about your experience, why you graduated, how, how early did you graduate KWI? I graduated at four and a half months instead of finishing out the six months. Okay, and what was the reasoning behind that? Uh, because I got an offer for a job to go out and make some pretty good money. Okay. And did that, do you feel like that helped you or it kind of hindered you maybe from learning something else at KWI? I think it benefited me a lot because I went out and got to make money and got probably way more experience out on the job than I did in the school. Yeah, in the school was great. We, we were in there welding and you learn a lot and you definitely do need to make it to some point in the program to go out and work. But... I was pretty confident in myself and decided to go out and work. Okay, and an advantage that you had over a lot of students at KWI is you had prior experience before coming to KWI, and that was pipeline, correct? Yeah, I went out on the pipeline as a helper, uh, did that for about eight months, and then right after that I went into uh, a fab shop and did basically structural welding, MIG welding, uh, building little sheds and shops and stuff, prefab stuff. And then uh, right after that job, I went to a structural job welding uh, barn aluminium shops. We did an indoor gun range, handrails, just all kinds of different things. Okay, so if you was already in the industry welding, why did you decide to come to KWI? Because I knew that if I came to a school that would benefit me in the ways of like TWIC card, the NCCO, um, rigor and signal, all that stuff benefits you. When I got out there, everybody asked me, hey, do you have that? I can get you on a job. I knew that would help. And then also I wanted to come here to get better, at not only stick welding, but TIG welding. And I was doing a lot of structural, so I didn't really mess with pipe that much. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I wanted a lot more tube and a lot more pipe welding than I was getting at the house, even though I had my own machine and everything. Uh, it's pretty expensive to do it on your own, so I figured coming here, getting certs, getting all these things behind me that are going to help me progress on the road, that's why I came to KWI. Well, that's awesome. And so explain your experience right out of welding school. What were some of the jobs that you did, and then what was that looking like? So the first job we went to was Trimble County. Basically, it, looked, it was like we showed up and we took a t weld test and sat around for a minute. And then they were like, all right, this is what we're doing. And we're going in the boiler and never been in a boiler before. Didn't know what I was looking for. Didn't know what I was looking at. And mm -hmm. started uh, setting up boxes and welding. And we were doing a downhill ink and ale, hard wire MIG. Okay. And... Uh, Second job, we went to Gent, and it was a little bit of everything. Uh, we did some TIG welding, we did some overlay MIG on some tubes. We did, the hardest job I think out there was, uh, we put in some 24 inch pups with flanges on them mm -hmm. inside of Dutch work to uh, put lances in for lime. Okay. And uh, we were TIG welding Hastaloid with ink and L wire. Okay. And that was pretty tough. Interesting. And so that's that's kind of a tough material to weld right out of welding school because yeah. it's not something you're gonna like focus on specifically with actual Hastaloy pipe, you know what I mean? So Yeah, it was it was definitely a game changer because we were also working with really dirty material because it's in the Dutch work and uh <clears throat> everything was art gouged out. So you had to take your time and prep it. We had horrible gaps to weld, but going to, that, going to KWI and uh, getting the experience with getting a bad fit or something like that, or you mess up and cut mm -hmm. one and weld it anyway, uh, that, that helped. And also my previous experience helped with that. Okay. So what's your next move and what's some advice you would give a future student or someone who's looking to get into the welding industry so my next move is basically just keep finding jobs and keep going to work trying to keep phone calls coming in mm -hmm. uh, keep my hood down gotcha uh, 
the best advice I could give somebody else would be when you show up to welding school, to work, anywhere, whatever your job is, if you're a grinder, a helper, a boiler, or a welder, go to work and get it done. There's no sitting around, waiting, get the job done, get it done efficiently, and right. Don't halfway do it. And that's Bryson with KW on the Couch, guys. I'm Keegan Dales.